Hi everyone, it's Thursday, it's time for your weekly refill, and this is a welcome turn up for the books, isn't it? The Church of England has changed its official policy this week, and now the clergy are encouraged to go into the buildings to pray and to live stream. We'll be taking advantage of that. We don't think we're quite ready for it this Sunday, but as soon as we are, we'll be able to live stream from within the building. Now, don't get too excited. We are, as you will imagine from the government guidelines, a long way away from being able to have services. As I speak, uh, the government is doing its briefing on Thursday, so I'm not sure anything is changing. We're looking forward to what the Prime Minister says on Sunday, but I'm expecting him to continue to be extremely cautious. That means several things. Number one, let's keep looking out for each other. As always, as we keep saying, Mark's email is the one you need to have to hand. If you or a neighbour, somebody you know, could do with a phone call, a bit of a lift, maybe some help with some shopping, give Mark an email and he will make sure that somebody gets in touch. Second thing, the way that this looks like rolling out is that Maybe in a few weeks time we will start to meet in small groups, maybe even smaller than our pastorates. That will be the first time we'll be able to meet outside our immediate family contexts. For some of us, that's going to be risky. We're going to stay at home for a long time yet. But for those of us who are hungry and keen for some kind of relationships and fellowship, they're going to be critical. So, once again, please plug in to our small group structures. Phil's email has popped up below. Reach out to him and tell him you'd like to join a small group. We're setting up one already, a new one. We'll be setting up some that work only on Zoom, I'm sure, but we will need to build a platform for small groups. So whereas before you might have thought you would come along on Sunday and small groups were the optional extra, now you flip that around. You can't come on Sunday but you can come to a small group. So let's get ready for our small groups being allowed to meet. Let's practice on Zoom, but sign up if you're not part of our small groups already. And then down the track, down the track, and I'm imagining this not to be until the autumn some stage, we might be allowed to have services of some kind. They will look very differently to what we're used to from St. James. I'm imagining we might have a cap on numbers, maybe 25 or 30 people in the building at any one time. We might not be allowed to sing because that's just as bad of coughing. We might have to wear face masks to be together. It's going to be very, very different and the staff team and the PCC are thinking really hard about ways which we can make St James possible bearing in mind that we're not going to be able to pack the building for the foreseeable future. So what's going to happen over the next few days? Well, tomorrow, of course, is VE Day. Uh, 10.30, there is an all-age service. You'll find out about that on our YouTube channel. Ash and several other churches leaders are getting together for that. There'll be puppets and drama and all sorts of things. As always, across the entire country, 11 o'clock, there'll be a two-minute silence. We'll be flying the flag so that people know that we haven't gone to sleep here at St. James. Then on Sunday, half past ten, as always, we're live on YouTube, followed by Zoom coffee and youth and children's groups and all the usual stuff. I've walked into the building today and I've picked up one of these coral red values and vision documents. Do you remember these? We put them out. <laughs> it seems years ago now, but it wasn't that long ago. And we tried to lay out the values we have as a church family and what the plans might be on the basis of it. Now the plans, of course, are just confetti now, but listen to the values, the six values we have at St. James. We want to be a worshipping people. We value loving God with all our hearts, souls, minds and strength. We want to be a connected people. We value being a church of love, joy, welcome, hope, forgiveness and encouragement. We want to be a growing people. We value increasing in our understanding of God's good plan in Jesus and becoming more Christ-like in response. We want to be a loving people. We value working out our faith by serving together. 
We want to be a gospel people. We value sharing our faith together. We want to be a generous people. We value partnering together for the growth of God's kingdom. Now those values took a lot of work to come up with. We went all around the houses with them, but they stand firm. It is still true. We want to be a loving community. We want to be a welcoming community. We want to reach out with the gospel. We want to be involved, as we said at the beginning here, in a church planting movement which will transform North London and beyond. It's going to look very different from what we intended, isn't it? But let's pray that God will still do that. There are verses on the front of here which make me rather humble in the light of what's going on at the moment. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. I certainly had plans. I'm sure you had plans. I had plans, obviously, not just for family and for so on, but plans for here at St James. They've gone. But the Lord's plan, the Lord's purposes, hasn't changed at all. And here's the second verse we put on the front. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. And that's a rallying cry for us to start all over again. To pray. To pray for ourselves, to pray for one another, to pray for our families, our work, our retirement, and yes, here at St James's too. To pray for good, God's good plan to prevail. And as I said in our weekly email, for us to commit the plans, the good ideas, the things we would like to do to God and his sovereign plan will come into being. Those two verses come from Proverbs. It's a wonderful thing about the book of Proverbs that it quite often gives you two ideas side by side because <coughs> that's how life works. God's plan will prevail and we're allowed to commit our plans to him. Let's do that now, shall we? Let me pray as we watch. Heavenly Father, we had many plans just a few weeks ago, but they've all gone. But thank you that we can be confident that your purpose will prevail. And so we commit to you the next few days, weeks, months and years for ourselves, <coughs> for our families, for our homes, for work, for our communities, our streets, and those WhatsApp groups that have sprung up. But together we also want to commit to you St James. And we pray that in your goodness, you will use what we are going through to spread the gospel in quite remarkable ways that we cannot begin to imagine to bring yourself glory. Amen. Stay safe, friends, and I look forward to you joining me online on Sunday.